In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a logo using interlocking letters, similar to what you see here, where the S comes behind the E, and then it goes over the E, and then comes back behind the E using Inkscape version 91. And the font I'm using in this tutorial is called Geo Sans Light, and I've included a link to it in the description. So if you don't already have that font installed, go ahead and install that font before we get started, and then open up Inkscape and we'll be good to go. And at any time in this tutorial, you can look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which keystrokes and mouse clicks I'm using. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. And this should be your view when you first open up Inkscape. So what we're going to do is come up here to where it says uh, Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Strokes. We're just going to click that button to open up that menu. And then we're going to go to File, Document Properties. We'll turn off that box, close out of that menu. We'll go to View. Make sure you have custom selected and then zoom and we're going to zoom in one to one. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our text. So we're going to click on this tool right here and we're going to click on the canvas and just write a capital S and a capital E. I'm just using these two letters for the sake of this tutorial because they just so happen to work out well with an intertwining concept. There's no particular meaning to the S and the E here. So Let's go over to our text editor up here and let's find that font we just downloaded and installed, GeoSans Lite. There it is right there. Click on it, click apply, and we can close out of that menu. And we can go to our arrow. Let's click on our arrow and let's hold Control and Shift in the keyboard and let's grab one of these arrows and just scale this thing up. We want to make this pretty big so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll go to, since we can't edit this right now, Inkscape is recognizing this as text. It's not recognizing it as, an, as a, a graphic that we can edit. And you know that by coming over here to the nodes button. And you can see there's no nodes showing up here because Inkscape recognizes this as wording, text. We can still change these letters if we want to. We want to get rid of that so we can edit this thing. So we're going to go to path, object to path, and then we'll ungroup it and then see what happens. Everything, we have these nodes now. This is now a vector object that we can manipulate and edit. So once you've done that, you've done path, object to path, and ungroup, come back over to the arrow. And let's go over to where it says opacity. Let's drop that in half. And then let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's take this letter E, and let's click and drag this over here so it's in position, so that the S and the E are positioned just how you see it here. Now I'm going to actually shift over a little bit. You could hold down your space bar and move the mouse cursor around and that could change, that could help you pan around the screen. So we have that positioned right about here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to, with this E selected, we'll go to Path and we're going to do Linked Offset. When you click on that, there should be this little node that shows up right here. I'm going to take that node and click and drag this out to about here. About that much. Right about there. And then we'll go to Path, Object to Path. We'll turn this red. We'll go back to our arrow and let's raise this to the top by clicking this button. Raise Selection to Top. Raise that to the top. Now we're going to take this fatter copy of the E and use it to punch a hole through the letter S. But we only need to use this portion right here because if we use the entire letter and we punch a hole through it, what's going to happen is they're not going to look like they're interlocking. It's just going to look like the E is sitting on top of the S, which we don't want. So we're going to get rid of this portion of the E right here. So we're going to do that by going to the Bezier pen. And click on that. And we're just going to draw a box going around this portion of the letter E. The part of the E that goes over the S, we want to, we want to take that right there. And then we'll go back to the arrow, and we'll actually right-click on this shape and duplicate that, because we're going to need another one of those. And then we can hold Shift and click on the, the red E and go to Path, Difference. And then we can hold Shift and click on the letter S and go to Path, Difference. So the next thing we'll do is we'll take this letter S and we'll go to Path, Link to Offset, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make this thing a little fatter. We're going to make it just as fat as we made the uh, previous letter E. And you could tell by looking right about here. 
if it starts to overlap, you know it's too it's too fat. If you go if if it if it doesn't overlap, if it's like you see some white space in there, it's too thin. We want consistency in this concept, so we're going to make it about the same. It doesn't have to be exactly to the T, but somewhere somewhere, you know, somewhere close, kind of like that. And once you get it to about there, we'll go to path object to path. And we'll turn that red. And we'll come over to the arrow and click on that. And then we'll raise this to the top. And then while holding shift, click on that shape that we drew. And let's go to path intersection. And now we're going to hold shift and click on the letter E. And we'll go to path difference. And as you can see, we're now finished. You can click and drag over both of these, bring the opacity up, and you can color these in however you'd like. And that's how you can make some interlocking letters using Inkscape version 91. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.